Because how much you make is not up to me, it's up to who? Because you could take what I teach you and make zero, or you can be like Danny and make 2.2, or you can make more, you can make less. Does that make sense? It's not up to me. I, I'm just a teacher. I show you the doors. I show you where the door is. You got to be the one that walks through it. Make sense? Yeah. I'm just here to give you the skills. I'm here to train you. What am I to do? And mentor. That's all I'm here to do. That's it. Share with you what I've learned, what I've done. I don't care if you're making less than six figure, more than six figure, seven figure. It doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter where you are. I don't care because I started with nothing. And I was in debt. Then I pay off those debt. And here I am today. So I don't care if you have a, currently have a negative net worth. It doesn't matter. Or if you have already acquired a reasonable nest egg, let's say, uh, let's say maybe tens of thousands of dollars, a few hundred thousand dollars, the more the better. Your journey will be a little smoother. Will be what? A little bit smoother. And you will, your arrival will be sooner if you have something. Not a bad thing to start off with something. Okay? What I'm saying is, if you start with something, you get there a little bit faster, a little bit smoother. If you start with nothing or negative, it's going to take you a little longer. Not because the process takes longer, it takes longer for you to gain those skill sets. Because there's a reason why you're in a hole in the first place. Make sense? Because of lack of skills. That's why you're getting a negative. We need to get you into at least being neutral and then positive. You with me? Yes? Okay. So, Take a look at some statistics. This is from Forbes. By 2018, a quarter of Americans have no retirement savings. A quarter of Americans have no retirement savings. And you can look at the age group. From 18 to 29 years old, 42%, no savings. 30 to 44, 26%. 45 to 59, 17%. And then over 60 years old, 13%. No savings. It means they cannot retire. This is why, and it's very sad. Now think about, wh how many would agree? America, US, one of the richest countries in the world. So if this is the statistics in US, and Canada is about the same, think about the rest of the world. Just, just think about, if, if this is USA, one of the most prosperous countries in the world, and this is the statistics. How many of you can see now why when you go to McDonald's, you walk into Walmart, do you just see young people? Do you just see teenagers working there? No. How many of you walk into Walmart, you see someone greeting at the door? Senior citizens. Instead of enjoying retirement, they're at the door of Walmart greeting people. Do you think they want to be there? I don't think they want to be there. But they have to be there. It's very, very sad. And partially, and I'll explain in a moment why that happens. So looking, looking at statistics like this, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? You want to avoid it? You want to avoid it? Yes. Educate. Make a plan. Educate, yes. Change. Change the future. How many would agree that's not a pretty picture? We're not done. This is just one of them. 49% of Americans expect to live paycheck to paycheck each month this year. More than almost 50% of people living paycheck to paycheck. That's half of the population in US. 53% say that they don't have an emergency fund that covers at least three months of expenses. Let's say the month of expenses is 3K, they don't have 9K in the bank. If the monthly expense is 5K, they don't have 15K in the bank. 50% of Americans take home less than 40K. Some say 30K, I'm being generous. So big population, paycheck to paycheck, they take home less than 40K a year. Wow, I can feel the room, the energy, the sadness. This is where things are at. Because we have to be aware where things are at. Versus kind of stick our head and saying, oh, things are good. That's a reality. 
And if you don't like, if you don't, you don't believe in statistics, just think of, think, just think about, picture in your mind, the people around you. Just think about the people around you. They will tell you where things are at. Home ownership is at its lowest levels in 20 years. Some might argue because people want to rent, millennials want to rent instead of buy. That's partially true, but what is more true? What is more true? Take a guess. People can't afford it. They can't afford a down payment. If 50% living paycheck to paycheck, they don't even have emergency fund, how are they going to have a down payment for a home? Think about it. Impossible. They're making 40000 How are you going to buy a home? How are you going to buy a home? Here's what's going on. And it's not a nice way to say it. I'm going to fucking say it. It means you walk down the street in Vegas, you look around, you just look at everybody. Almost everybody out there are broke. Almost everyone is broke. That's a fact. Almost everyone is broke. And yet, we listen to what most people are saying about how money works. So you can picture in your mind, people walking in the street, you're broke, you're broke. You are broke. Oh, you're broker than broke. And I'm not talking about, you see, a homeless person. I'm talking regular day people. It is sad. And I think it's not right. I really think it's not right. Now, at the same time, most people are broke, yes? At the same time, 1,700 new U.S. millionaires are made every day. Every day. Thousands of millionaires, new millionaires, are being made. Hmm. So we have the statistics. Things are worse than ever. People, most people are broke. And then we have an interesting statistics. There are more millionaires than ever. What the fuck is going on? What do you think is going on? More opportunities. But what is going on? What does that tell you about a society? Education, Education yes. But what is going on in the society? So we have the, like things are really bad, and then yes, at the same time, the rich get richer, classes. poor get poorer. Middle class is disappearing. Middle class is disappearing. So the people, how many have heard us saying, the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poor? It's absolutely one hundred percent correct. Middle class disappearing. So think about the people in middle class, right? If this is disappearing. Either they're moving up or they're moving down. And you have a choice. Either they say, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna be that millionaire status, or if by doing nothing, by default, write this down, default is a bitch. <laughs> by not doing anything, automatically you're becoming poor. Like if you don't do something drastical, I mean drastical very different from what you're doing right now. So you got to make a choice. And it's a very conscious choice. It's a choice you have to make daily, not just, oh, I think it's a good idea. I'll buy some lottery, right? No. This is the goal. This is my plan. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give myself seven to ten years. I absolutely, it's a must for me. Because by not being there, automatically, you go here. It's not nice. It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant.